Hi guys, this is a video request from Ashabella91 on conversion. She commented on my drug calculation video, which you can go and check out on my channel. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, conversions and particularly talking about drug calculations. Okay, so the basic principle I have here on this card, okay, everything goes into a thousand, which makes it a lot easier. You can see you've got one litre into 1,000 millilitres, one kilogram into 1,000 grams, one gram into 1,000 milligrams, one milligram into 1,000 micrograms. This makes it easier because the decimal points always move three spaces. The hard part of that is knowing whether to go to the right or to the left, which I'm going to discuss with you now. Okay, so I'm going to get have some um, basic conversions, and you can pause the video halfway to try and work them out yourself before I give you the answers. Okay, so first we've got um, we are having mils into no, sorry. Uh, litres into millilitres, okay? I always say, because it's going from a large quantity, which is litres, into a small quantity, the number is always getting bigger. If it's going to a smaller quantity, the number's getting bigger. If it's going to a large quantity, so if it was millilitres to litres, it'd be to a large quantity, the number's getting smaller. It's always opposite, okay? So here you've got it to a smaller quantity, which means your number has to get larger. So the first one we've got is 0 0.07, okay? Um, because the number's getting larger, we're moving to the right, um, and you're moving three decimal spaces. One, two, three. The decimal space goes here, but you've got a space here where you, where you need to put a zero, okay? So your answer there will be 70, okay? Can you see that? Okay, 70 there. All right. Um, now, if you had 0 0.007, It'd be going three spaces. And fifty milligrams. Okay. Right. Let's go into milliliters. Um. Let's go through this now. Um. If it's into liters, you can see that it's going from a small quantity into a large. This means that um. The number, because it's getting larger, the number's getting smaller, which means you've got to go to the left. Okay, so if you have 4,500 uh, 4, mils, there's no decimal point in there, so the decimal point automatically at the end. You'll move in three spaces, one, two, three, your decimal point goes right between your four and five, giving you the answer of 4.5 mils, okay? Um, if you have uh, 450 mil, do the small point going one, two, three spaces, which make, makes it 0.45. Okay, you, you could put 0 0.5, um, point, point 0.450, zero, but there's no point because zero doesn't mean anything, so you can take that off. Um, but obviously, you can't leave it, it's just 0.45, so you put in the zero here, 0 0.45. Okay, um, if you have 45, it's going one, two, three. And you've got this point here, and you've got a space there. So it makes it 0 0.045, again, putting a 0 before the point. Okay, um, on to some basic drug conversions to help you understand it. I'm going to um, be taking two examples uh, to find them for you. Um, okay, so if a patient is wanting, okay, so the patient um, wants 250. 50 milligrams of their medicine, um, and the stock you have is one gram in two mils. Okay, 
Um, okay, you have an immediate problem here because you've got grams there, milligrams there, okay? So you need to convert that. Now you know from what I showed you at the beginning that in one gram there are 1,000 milligrams. So automatically you know that that is the same as saying that there is 1,000 milligrams in two mils. Okay, so that's really easy, okay? It's converted into milligrams. So the patient needs 250 milligrams. If you're understand, if you're not sure how to work this out, check my other video out. Okay, you've got two, um, 1,000 um, in stock. Okay, cancel it down. Um, ends up as 1 over 4. Times it by 2, because you've got 2 mils. Ends up as 2 over 4, which can be 1 over 2, which is a half, which is 0 0.5 mils. Okay, another one way of working that conversion out is just seeing that if 1,000 milligrams is in 2 mils, there's 500 milligrams in 1 mil. The patient is 250 milligrams, which means it's 0.5 of the 1 mil, okay? 500 milligrams is in 1 mil, then 250 milligrams in half a mil, okay? 0 0.5 mil. Okay, um, last one we'll work out is if you have 800 micrograms that the patient needs, um, and in stock you have 1.2 milligrams per mil, okay? Um, and now 1.2 milligrams needs to be changed into micrograms, okay? So it's going from a small quantity, a large quantity, large quantity into a smaller quantity, meaning it goes to the right. So you're going one, two, three, the bullet point goes here, you've got two spaces there. Okay, it gives you the answer of 1,200, okay? Um, so the patient needs 800 micrograms over 1,200. Um, that you have in stock, so you count the zeros down, it comes 4 over uh, 6, it can come 2 over 3, um, you then have to divide the 2 over 3, so um, so uh, 3 divided by 2 doesn't go, so you've got to do it 20, which is 0.6, okay, so you, and it obviously, it, there's the remainders, but you don't need to do point, it ends up as 0.6666 continually, but it ends up as 0. Mills, okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. I know I went really fast. If you've got any questions, just comment below and I'll try and answer those for you. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.